Hello and welcome to World of Tanks with Trapsikis. We're having a look at a very good friend of mine. He has recently moved to the European server because of the uh, American server merge, which effectively made the game unplayable to South Africans. Now, so he started a new account and has since been accused of re-rolling many times because he obviously knows the game already. Right, so he's playing in the I believe it's a Swedish tier 3 light tank, the LTVZ-38. It's a relatively nice little tank with uh, no real armor and decent mobility but not great. But it's got a very nice gun with a 3 shot autoloader at 82 millimeters of penetration and an average damage of 40. So that's a burst damage of uh, 120 which you can unload in two seconds. It's really not bad for a tier 3. Now this match is only tier 3's so you'll only be meeting opponents of the same tier and he manages to land two of the three shots of his first magazine into that 38T and you'll notice that almost killing enemies is something that Wustainbrak does quite well in this game. Uh, now the nickname Wustainbrak I believe refers to a certain a well-known German person from the Second World War. If you get the reference, feel free to leave me a comment. Right, so doing some more damage to two different enemies in the same clip and again he does not get the kill. You'll notice that the uh, Panzer S35 on the friendly team is doing a very good job of supporting Steinbrack. They are working together quite well with Rustainbrak doing the uh, majority of the damage and the S35 providing armor and eliminating enemies where possible. Right, so finally there's another opportunity for Rustainbrak to get a kill but he leaves the 3E on exactly the same number of hit points that he found him and just before he kills him the 38T gets the kill. Now up to 408 damage, which is quite good for this tier, and no kills. Right, so continuing with the theme, Sandrock manages to nearly kill another enemy. And again. Now reloaded his clip, is ready to attack the Chiha, which is on quite low hit points. He will need to penetrate twice to secure the kill. But it is quite difficult. And, of course, he leaves him on 15 hit points for someone else to kill. Let's have a look at the T-56 GMC. Now, unfortunately, some friendlies hit Vusteinbrak in the rear, and because Vusteinbrak hits his first shell of this magazine into the dirt, he's unable to secure the kill. Now, only two enemies remain, the Panzer 1C and the unspotted Panzer 2J, which is a quite a rare reward tank and I believe, although I don't own one myself, a very annoying tank to play because it's got monstrous armor, it's very slow and it's got an atrocious gun. I believe only 23 millimeters, sorry, 27 millimeters of penetration, no no, 23, 23 millimeters of penetration on the standard rounds and with the gold rounds a whopping 46, which means even with gold loaded. The Panzer 2J is entirely unable to penetrate another Panzer 2J. So you rely entirely on your team to kill same and higher tier enemies, but you do have monstrous armor. It's got 80 millimeters frontal armor at tier 3 that is unheard of. Uh, sides and rear 50 millimeters and track armor 24. It's quite a decent DPM although obviously the penetration is low, the reload is below 3 seconds, but the damage is only 11. So you do need to hit your enemies quite a lot in order to do anything. But uh, the clip size of 10 means that uh, you can unload quite a lot on enemies without any armor. But the moment they have armor, you're in trouble. So Steinbrock manages to land two of the three shells, 
getting his damage total to over a thousand, which is very impressive for tier three. And while I was talking, I believe Ustendrak was able to get the kill on the Panzer 1C. So he did manage to get one. Alright, so 2J of course turns his attention to Vistainbrak because he knows the theme and refuses to let Vistainbrak get the kill. However, the team does manage to take him out and together they did very well. Between Vistainbrak and the S35, they secured 8 of the 15 kills. So very good teamwork there and a shout out to the S35. I'll get to his nickname just now. Alright. So let's have a look at the post-game stats. An ace tanker, not surprisingly, bruiser and fire for effect, confederate and high caliber. Obviously not a top gun there. Uh, he's number one on damage, however not number one on experience. Remember the S35, because of his seven kills, will have received bonus uh, per kill. So for each kill you get, you get a, a fixed bonus. I'm not sure what the uh, number of experiences per tier but depending on the tier of your opponent, you get a different bonus. Right. And then on the personal details, because Usteinbach used all of his premium shells to penetrate the 2J, he didn't make a, a lot of a profit, although he did make some profit. Um, 41 shells fired, 34 hit, 29 penetrated, not bad, and a total damage of 1140. Um, and you'll see he managed to damage 10 enemies and only kill one well done all right and assistant damage 56 that uh, is only spotting damage and the uh, total experience for the game base xp 834 uh, total 1688 i believe he received extra experience for the uh, achievements that's why the in game it showed a little bit more experience um, and also secured the uh, ace tanker for him very well done with and thank you for watching.